So what's the grape export talking about today? Well, one of my most passionate areas, and actually if you're following the Grape Explorer, you know that I love and adore Italian wines. And I think that I could spend probably the next 30 to 40 years talking about the grapes that actually exist there. There's well over a thousand different grapes in Italy. But today we're gonna to highlight one which is called Vernaccia. And Vernaccia is a grape that is uh, very, very quite famous in the area called San Gimignano. And we have our beautiful map that we brought out here today. And if we take this orange line right here, you can see Vernaccia to San Gimignano. And the line goes right over to here. And you see this gold uh, colored area here, which is amongst all the red. There's a big reason for that. And uh, most of Tuscan wines, if we all know, like Chiantes and Brunellos and Super Tuscan Reds, I would say well over 95% of the wines that are produced in Italy are red wines. But there are some white wines of note. And of course, this is one of the oldest. The, the oldest records of, of Vernaccia go back to uh, the 12th century. And uh, some of the most famous uh, people, the Medicis, would present uh, bottles of Vernaccia to the Pope at the time. And um, we all obviously know Michelangelo, who, you know, was quite famous, um, you know, in his contract, whenever he was, uh, whenever he was commissioned to do art, and especially like the Sistine Chapel, part of his contractual agreement was he needed to have a, a daily supply of Vernaccia de San Gimignano, which was his favorite wine. So we always call it the wine of kings, the wine of poets, the wine of historians. And when we're talking about Italy, we know that, you know, Chianti and red wine is king. So this is called the queen of Tuscany with obvious uh, notes because we we're talking about the nobility of, uh, of Tuscany here and how great these wines were. So I broke out a bottle here today that I'm tasting. And you know, uh, I went to a wine merchant, very notable wine merchant one day, and we were talking about Vernaccia and he said, oh, ha, huh. you know, people bought that wine 15, 10 years ago. Nobody really buys Vernaccia. And I said, really, why? And he said, well, everybody's drinking Pinot Grigio. And I, and I you know, I, I told him, I said, geez, have they ever really tasted Vernaccia? to know the differences between, you know, Vernaccia, which is a DOCG, and we're going to explain that, as opposed to just a simple Pinot Grigio that doesn't really have a lot of character. And he said, no, he said, apparently people don't really know. So this wine was the first DOC wine. What I'm talking about, DOC, Barolo, Barbaresco, Chianti Classico. These are all DOC wines, and uh, this was the first wine to get that status. And then they even went a little higher and in 1993, they became the only white wine that has the, the status of DOCG, which was amazing. We're talking about nearly 30 years ago, and there's still nobody's paying attention to these beautiful wines. And, you know, I got a little bit of scent of uh, orange blossom right off the top of the notes. Um, the soil composition here is sandstone. I know that's kind of interesting because, of course, I love limestone and I like chalk. And I like all of these things that give expression. So in San Gimignano, high percentage of sandstone in the soil. And that, that's what gives these wines that perfume, that lift, that bracing acidity. And you have that, all these beautiful like uh, scents of white fruits and uh, flowers. But when you taste the wine. Oh, that's lovely. You get all that lemongrass. You get beautiful citrus tones you get that lovely acidity that just begs you to come back for more this is a food wine i would say this would be great with a piece of fish or a piece of chicken or something really really interesting but listen i adore and i love san gimignano i love the the town so if you're ever traveling to tuscany and you want to get away from firenze and drive out to a beautiful place Go to San Gimignano, and this is Vernaccia to San Gimignano, and this is the Grape Explorer talking about really, really great Italian wines.